Hi guys, this is Ratchet Throw and we are playing Criminal Case Elite Mode. And before we get into the game, I would like to show you guys this whole list of cases that you suggested. So, as you can see, 19 in Season 1, 16 in Season 2, and so on and so on. It's still better than nothing, so I'm very thankful for you guys that you support me. So, and... So I browsed through before I started this video and at the end it was between Family Blood in Greensboro, the first season, and The Killer in the Rice in World Edition. So between these two, I chose to play season 3 Killer in the Rice. So we're gonna get into it. And I will try to forget who's the killer. Very hard. Because this is the first case in board edition where we learn about I don't know if I should say it for somebody who doesn't know who doesn't know anything about it or with spoilers. But if you're familiar then you know what's it going what what is going to be. Katrina. I still can't believe Warren Goodfellow was working for Sombra all along. Yeah. People who come out too innocent in one district turn out to be the killers in the last case. That's just how it goes. How does Sombra do it, Katarina? How could we never see them coming until the very end? The details of Warren Goodfellow's involvement with Sombra remain sketchy. But the letter Katarina found has led us here to Yunnan. That's another thing I don't understand, Chief. Yunnan is a remote agricultural province of China. What could Sombra possibly want here? That's what we need to find out. All we know is that Warren met his contact, the so-called headhunter, here. Make no mistake, Katrina. Sombra's already a step ahead of us again. Spoken about of their Chinese hideout is our first task. I'll send you on a reconnaissance mission. Start with the rice fields. I'm counting on you to come back with fresh leads, Commander Katrina. Well, not with fresh rice. All right, let's let's get in. Oh my gosh, it's loading so slow. Ethernet cable is not working again. Not at all. You know when I turned on the computer. So I tried to unplug it and then plug it in again, and yet it still doesn't work. If I could, I would have used the Ethernet cable downstairs in my room where I where I play, play on PlayStation Four, so I can increase the quality of live streams. But it's impossible to get the cable into it because there's no space in the wall so it's something like that it's just not possible so that's why the quality of the stream isn't good and that's why i've been having problems with the live stream so and i'm too far away from the router so i'm connected with playstation 4 through the repeater which is just outside the room and Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's not, just depending on how many devices are connected to it, so... And while I'm talking... <laughs> Here we go. We cleared the crime scene, even though it took a while. Katrina, that boy's dead. Someone slashed his throat. I know we are here because of Sombra, so finding a dead body doesn't surprise me. But a dead teenager? Is Sombra killing rice farmers now? Or is this murder just a local tragedy that will throw us off Sombra's trail again? I don't know what to think, Katarina. You're right. Let's get back to basics. Any good clues at the crime scene? That rice farmer's basket won't take long to search through. And if you're lucky, those torn pieces are something that belong to the victim. 
That postcard must have been the victim, sis. It was right next to the body. But it looks old. The writing's almost faded. Hey, well spotted. The postcard is addressed to Wan Guo Han. At least now we know our victim's name. What's the cow the writing? Go well, tell us more about him. Okay. What happened to the boy? Hi, Katrina. Give me a minute. Iku fell asleep on my shoulders while I was cleaning my instruments. Oh, did she get bored? Take your time, Angela. There. Much better. My daughters are under my feet all day, asking questions. Show me how the bone saw works, mommy. Can I try those dissection scissors, mommy? Oh, <laughs> haha, <laughs> 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 I see they're ready to follow in their mother's footsteps. I'm glad Lars and I decided to bring our kids here to spend more time with them after Lars nearly died in Bangalore. But I'm also anxious about their safety. And now your new case, Katrina. This dead boy. It makes me especially worried. This boy, as you suspected, bled to death after an injury that severed his carotid arteries. Yeah, very deep. The murder weapon is probably a sharp blade. Since you found a victim in a rice field, I'd keep an eye out for farming tools. Ain't he also identified the killer, who would slash the throat of a boy in a rice field? The only clue on the body was faint traces of alcohol on the skin. It came from external contact, since there was no alcohol in the bloodstream. I analyzed a small sample, and the alcohol is a product of fermented rice grains, consistent with a popular liquor made locally from rice. It's called Baishu. So, the girl drinks rice liquor. I guess slashing children's throats would drive anyone to drink, Katarina. Agree. <laughs> Okay, let's dust the postcard. Be a good boy, we'll never forget you, mom and dad. Aww. Katrina, the text on Vitis' postcard says, Be a good boy, we'll never forget you, mom and dad. I agree, Katrina, this message sounds like a farewell. You think that's why the boy kept the card? You're right, since you also revealed the address on the postcard, we could go to the victim's house. Let's go. Wait, what's weird is that it's written in pure English and not Chinese. Well, anyway. No need to bother with translation then. <laughs> okay, what's in here? stick. I wonder how that walking stick ended up in a basket, Katrina. Do you think it has something to do with the mur- Hey! Are you talking about my cane? Give it back! Whoa. Alright. Eek! What the- Who are you? My name is San. The villagers call me Blind San. I live in the woods. I want my cane back. Alright, give it to him. Well, Mr. San, considering your cane was at our crime scene, Commander Katria will need to have a word with you. Okay. Okay, now the torn pieces. Well, this looks like a hat. Yeah, the kind those farmers will wear. Katria, those so pissy found you the victim with the shreds of a bamboo hat. Rice farmers wear hats like this, Katarina, which means it could be our victim, sis. We better send it to Lars. Yeah. Six hours. Alright, let's talk to this guy. So your name is Mr. Sen? And you live around here. What are you doing in the rice fields? I was looking for my cane, Commander Katrina. Thank you. 
I knew my key would be here. I'm blind, but I have a sixth sense for these things. A sixth sense? Mr. Sen, we are investigating the death of a local boy. Did you know Guo Han? Guo Han? Something macabre happened to him. The shadows took him. That's one way to put it. Guo Han was murdered. I take it you didn't see. I mean, you didn't notice anything suspicious around the rice fields, Mr. Sen. The shadows. The shadows will descend upon the village, Kabata Katrina. Only you can stop it. Gee. Katrina, I think we're done here. Be careful on your way home, Mr. Sen. Alright. Alright, let's investigate Victim's house now. So, according to the address on the victim's postcard, this is where he lived. I hope it won't be mistaken for burgers, Katarina. Quick, what did you find? Well, just show them the police ID and we'll be fine, if they understand it. And a trickery card wooden box? You're right, it's just a place to hide a secret. But you'll have to work out how to open it first. And that frame picture is a great find. That boy looks like our victim, only younger. There's a woman with the victim in the picture too. You're right, we should run her face in the database. Well, there's gotta be someone taking care of you. Since you were a teenager. Alright, let's... Let's unlock this puzzle box. Not gonna be any problem for me. I'm doing this a science, science way. <laughs> There we go. Well, Chinese box isn't a problem for me. <laughs> Katarina, I didn't know you were so skilled at Chinese puzzle boxes. What did you find in it? A bracelet? You're right, there's a victim's name on it. And there's another word written on the bracelet too. May. Hmm, that could be anything. A person, a place, an organization. Well, something tells me it's a person. You're right, Elliot will know where to look for an answer. Let's give the bracelet to him. Okay. Alright, now let's look this woman up. Identified Auntie Hua. Oh, Auntie. Katrina, the database turn up a hit for the woman in the picture you found in the victim's house. It's the victim's aunt. We don't know anything about the victim's family yet. I agree. We should talk to Auntie Hua. Okay. Dead, you say? My poor boy. As if this family hadn't suffered enough already. We're very sorry to bring bad news, but we really need you to tell us about Hans's life. Where are his parents? Come on, Katrina. Hans's parents moved to Beijing when Han was only a baby. Many adults move away as there is no work here in the village. They left the baby with me, and I raised him the best I could. 
poor boy. All he had from his parents is an old postcard. Tom was such a good boy, commanded Katrina. I don't know who would have wanted to hurt him. At least his parents will never know they lost their child, commanded Katrina. My heart is broken. Whoa. Katrina, Hans's childhood is sadly common in rural China. Many adults leave to find work in cities. Can you imagine how these children grow up without parents? Yeah, you can imagine. Sad. Just my opinion. <laughs> I agree, Katrina. If life was hard before, at least kids didn't die murdered in a rice field. We must find out what's going on. Yeah. Does this have to belong to Han? Oh, please load. I only just turned on the computer. Ah, oh, there we go. Finally. Hello, Katrina. My little assistant and I will present our findings about the babu hat you find in the rice field. June, please. Here, daddy. Thank you, sweetheart. So, first. The DNA on the hair strands I found inside the hat confirmed that they belonged to Han, your victim. Also, the black light, daddy. Tell Katrina about the black light. I was just coming to that. Katrina, I scanned the hat on a black light. It revealed a partial shoe print. Now, June, go and play with your sisters for a bit until I finish this with Katrina, alright? Katrina, it's great that the girls are now living with us full time. But I didn't want you to hear the violent details of how this boy died. You could probably guess the rest anyway. Yeah. Since he found a hat torn at the crime scene, it's likely that there, there was a struggle between the killer and the victim, and the killer stepped on the hat in the tussle. The print is incomplete, so I couldn't determine the shoe size, but the pattern on the sole matched a kind of footwear that is very common in the village. Rubber boots. So we're looking for a kid wearing rubber boots, Katarina. Let's go get on their trail then. Well, not surprising given that we are in the rice fields. Oh god damn it, how it's so slow. Let's check out the bracelet now. Yeah, it's fast now. Hello Katarina. I've learned something cool from the pond. The man's quite clever sometimes. Did you know this? Many times. Uh, yes, Monsieur Dupont holds several doctorates and he's fluent in 30 languages. You could say he's clever. What else did you discover today, Elliot? That the Pope's Catholic? Actually, never mind. Just tell us about the ward or the bracelet Katrina found among Hans's belongings. That's what I'm talking about, Katrina. The word may on the bracelet is a name. And the pawn told me that in China, they put a surname before they give a name, not after. So my name would be Clayton Elliot in China. Yeah, that's right. Which was useful to know because it meant I had to slightly alter the algorithm I wrote to search for the name Mei in a population of approximately 45.7 million people in Yunnan. Long story short, Katrina, the person you want to talk to is Zhao Mei, a 15 year old girl. Oh. A 15 year old girl. Hmm, they must have been close if the victim had a friendship bracelet with their names. Katrina, I'm not looking forward to breaking the news to Bay, but it has to be done. Let's go. Alright. May, we're sorry to bring bad news about your friend. But Commander Katria needs to ask you some questions about Han. Han's dead? I always told him he was too clumsy to survive, and I was right. Too clumsy to survive? What do you mean? I always had to look after Han when we played in the countryside. Climbing trees, jumping over fences, finding wild mushrooms. I told him he had to be faster and stronger, or he'll get hurt, and I was right. I'll miss Han, Commander Katrina. Who's going to go on adventures with me now? Hmm. Katrina, we only just got to Yunnan and we're already in the thick of it. We know that Warren Goodfellow met the mysterious headhunter here in Yunnan, but so far, no sign of Sombra. 
Instead, we found a teenager with his throat slashed in a rice field. The victim was raised by his aunt after his parents moved to Beijing. He grew up working on a rice farm and playing with other kids in the countryside while... Quera Katarina, I've seen a terrible thing. You must come to the haunted dragon forest. How did you see? What the? Mr. Sen, you... How could you have seen anything? You're blind. There's no time to explain. You must come with me at once. Damn it. Crazy man. Alright, we're gonna stop here. We're gonna continue playing in chapter 2. So, thank you for watching. Don't forget to leave a like on this video, and I'll see you again. Goodbye!